All right, this guy's the hardest working pediatrician in all of comedy. He was a finalist in Treehouse Comedy's Funniest Comic on the East Coast. Cheers to you, my friend. And Saturday, he's performing at Marissa's in Trumbull. Let's have a nice round of applause for the one and only Dr. J. Sute. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Uh, you probably are wondering uh, why a board-certified pediatrician, a Connecticut Magazine top doc in pediatrics again this year, you're probably wondering, what the heck is he doing on CT style telling jokes? And, of course, the easy explanation is Obamacare. Uh, <laughs> Little known passage in the Affordable Care Act that recommends, doesn't require, but recommends that pediatricians find a second income stream by 2017. And uh, they were nice enough, they set me up with a second career counselor. Uh, she gave me a couple of tests and this is what we came up with. So. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to my world, but uh, I do love being a pediatrician. Uh, the kids are great, although the sleep-deprived, obnoxious parents who come into my office are sometimes a problem. Sometimes these parents, they have no idea what I can actually do for their kid as the pediatrician. I had a dad come in last week, 9 o'clock in the morning, 13-year-old uh, daughter. She has a fever of 103, and uh, the dad tells me, Hey, Doc, you got to have her better by 3 this afternoon for travel lacrosse tryouts. <laughs> It's a lot of pressure in my line of work. So I uh, pointed to my diploma, I said, you see it? It says University of Connecticut School of Medicine, not Hogwarts School of Wizardry, okay? I am simply a muggle pediatrician, but, uh, but uh, and they're cute. Sometimes the parents, they try to help out. You know, the other day I'm writing out a prescription and the mom stops me and says, oh, remember, she's allergic to amoxicillin and salad dressing. And I said, ooh, good catch. I was just writing for a creamy Italian, so. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, I get a call the other night, uh, mom wants to know if it's okay to give her baby a bath with diarrhea. And I said, eh, I'd use soap, but you're the new mom, you're going to do whatever the heck you want to do. And uh, I think you could have Googled this one, quite frankly, but... Uh, and we had a, a dad come in uh, the other day with his uh, three-year-old daughter, and he and his wife were expecting a son, and the father asked me uh, if I thought the, uh, the circumcision was going to be a painful procedure for their son. And I said, well, if you think about it, just about 100% of the kids who have the procedure done can't walk for a year, so you've got that going. <laughs> and uh, can't roll onto their belly for four months. I mean, that's some kind of sustained pain. If, uh, but uh, it is funny. I had a senior in high school come in for his checkup the other day, and he said to me, uh, hey, Dr. Sute, uh, I think I got a really bad case of senioritis. I said, well, be careful. You better get over it quick, because you, know, you can catch that again next year. So. Uh, <laughs> It is a funny thing, but uh, had a kid, a seven-year-old, uh, came into the office for his checkup. Uh, so I walk into the exam room, and he's sitting on the exam room table in his Spider-Man underwear, and he is pissed off, <laughs> giving me the dirty look. I said, buddy, what's wrong? He says, I don't want to be sitting on the table in my underwear. And I said, well, get used to it. You're at the doctor's office. You've got to sit on the table in your underwear. When I go to my doctor, I've got to sit on the table in my underwear. Your mom, too. He goes, my mom doesn't wear underwear. <laughs> That'll wake you up at 10 o'clock on a Tuesday morning and uh, a little awkward for Dr. J, although maybe not as awkward as the next couple minutes mom felt it necessary to explain to me why she didn't find underwear comfortable, but still. Uh, so we've been dating for about a month now and uh, it's going pretty well. And uh, I think it'd be a great idea if parents started thinking about what name they pick out for their kids. Kids gotta live with these names forever. I went to St. Francis Hospital in Hartford a couple weeks ago to see a baby girl, and uh, I asked the mom, what name did you pick out for your daughter? And she said, well, let me spell it for you. So I knew I was in trouble already. <laughs> so I got out the pen, she says, a capital L, A, dash, you know, one of them hyphens, capital A. I said, well, how do you pronounce that, la a? Ah? She goes, no, la dasha, the dash is not silent, Dr. Sute. <laughs> Honestly, I shouldn't have been surprised since her older daughter's name was Apostrophia. So, thank you very much. All right, Dr. J. Sute. Thank you. Hey, did all hey, that really I, happen? I, I got to give you my card, it looks I like. Do, yeah. yeah, I am need a pediatrician. You found your new pediatrician, Teresa. Here even, he is. I won't even ask what name you picked out. Full so. of jokes. No, 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 ask her, ask her. Feel free. Uh, problem, Doc. Just don't put any punctuation in it, okay? Gotcha. Maybe it'll be. Dal Dasha? Dal no dashes, Dal no, no apostrophes. Okay, right. What's we'll like the, the craziest phone call that you've ever received in the office? I remember one night I was on call and I looked down at my cell phone and the message said, uh, something is coming out of Daniel's rectum. 
Now keep in mind, it's 11 o'clock at night. Yep. I got to figure out what that something is over the telephone and sure. help this mom get it out. Where's and, the story going? You know, nine times out of ten, it turns out to be one of those old turds. It's kind of half in, half out. You know oh. what I'm saying? I mean, I've been a pediatrician over 20 years. <laughs> haven't go. seen a kid pass a gemstone yet, so it is Not what yet, it huh? is. Well, hey, there's always a first. So I asked this mom, well, did you try to pull it out? And I swear to God, she says to me, well, I don't want to pull his intestines out. <laughs> That wouldn't be good. Because accidental disembowelment seems to happen every other day. Right? Uh, <laughs> wow, I, 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 Not really, huh, no. doctor? I, I think your sign-ups for new patients are going to skyrocket after the show, but that's just me. Let's all hope right. so. Let's hope so. All right, so. Now, now if you guys want to grab tickets to his show, Dr. Jay Zute, all you got to do is check out treehousecomedy.com. You have some exciting upcoming shows. And, uh, hey, maybe we'll have you stick around. Up next, we have the results of our style spin. It'll be Ooh. good. Stay with us. Wow, Teresa got <laughs> excited about that.